Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Today we continue our lectures for the mock BSR 205 Building Surveying Practice 1 for module 2 Method of Investigation and Inspection for topic 2.3 Building Condition Assessment BCA Baris for the week 6 present by me Muhammad Kazi Aswad bin Khalid. Before we go to our chapter, please watch the video that I attached in this slide. And I'm sure after you follow or watching this video, you can identify the important thing about the building condition assessment. Topic 2.A, Topic Learning Outcome. At the end of the class, student can understand the definition of the building condition assessment and student can understand the procedure, scope and related regulation for the building condition assessment practice in Malaysia. Topic 2.B is about topic content online. First topic is a why do we need building surveying assessment? Top, subtopic number 2 is a topic content online. Subtopic number 3, why the BCA apps is important to apply. Subtopic number 4.A, introduction of BCA. 4.B, the scope of BCA. 4.C, BCA statutory requirement. 4.D, BCA sample notice and certificate from the local authorities. 5. Resources available. Subtopic number 6, Activity 1. Subtopic number 7, Score Feedback. Number 8, Activity 2. And the lastly is a subtopic number 9 is a more the lab recaps. Topic number 3. Please watch the video for the application used to perform BCA by JKR Bika. After watching this video, you can identify the PCA apps is important to apply. Subtopic 4.A is about introduction building condition assessment. Building condition assessment is a kind of the health check for the building. It is used to determine the general condition of the building for the purpose below. First, ensure the building is safe or to the occupy. Second, finding a defects, hazards and fail of the building. Third, prediction of the deterioration forecast for the future performance. For monitoring the asset condition and use. And lastly, asset valuation. The process. The process of assessment starts with the site visit to inspect the building and surrounding. Activities such as photo taking, video record, measurement and collect information from the person in charge as well as review available as well drawing. After this information collected, the evaluation information process and the produce a detailed report with observation, problem and recommendation proposal. The result of the assessment and information gathered are also used for the future building maintenance, retrofitting works or the building extension. The presentation can be done based on the client needs. Topic 4.B The Scope of Building Condition Assessment The scope of building condition assessment may include not limited to first building con structure and foundation, second component and infrastructure, for example parking lots, drainage, roads, curbs and so on. Number three Roofing the system. Next, uh, plumbing system, electrical system, mechanical system, fire protection system, swimming pool system, vertical transportation system, liquid petroleum gas LPG piping system. The building defect assessment, assessment shall be conducted if the major building defect discovered. Subtopic 4C, BCA statutory requirement. Under the Straight Drainage and Building Act 1974 Act 133, 
The local authority may require building that exceed five story and have been standing for at least 10 years from the date of Certificate Completion and Compliance CCC, to perform compulsory building condition assessment and submit a report thereafter. The local authority may further require the building owners to appoint competent engineer or building surveyor to conduct the same assessment in the maximum interval of the 10 years after its first assessment. Such building condition assessment is focused at assessing the building structural integrity through visual inspection. The visual inspection should discover several structural defects which are deemed to pose safety threat to the building occupants. Engineer building surveyor is required to request permission from the local authority for the full structural investigation, building defect assessment. Upon the receipt of engineering report for the building defect assessment, the local authority is given the legal power under Act 1 Treaty to order for building closure and demolition in the worst case scenario if the building with profit alternative deemed technically unacceptable. Topic 4D BCA sample notice and certificate from the local authorities. When we see this slide, you can see the sample notice from the local authority and example sample sigil penyempurnaan pemeriksaan by the local authority. Five resource available. Let's refer to the resources available. For example, CPBS 101 Holy M 2000 Surveying Building. Fourth edition surveyor published London, or you can video watch a video visual inspection for the link given and video building condition assessment.